everyone so this is look I created for you guys today and there's like a dot on my camera and I'm gonna like ask my dad like what it is but there's like a dot right there and like the lens and like it shows up in this video it's kind of bothering me but anyway so um it's really really nice it's kind of mm, I don't know how to explain it. it's like um you know it's dramatic but it's still I think I would wear this for daytime but you don't necessarily have to um it's really good for green eyes so um yeah it makes mine look really really green it really makes them stand out so um yeah so it looks like I really like it so um hope you guys like this if you want to see how to create this look then you can just keep on okay, so watching I'm going to prime my lid this is a primer I made by myself um, I watched Miss Glamorazzi's video and um yeah so I'm not gonna like make a video on it you can go ahead and check out hers if you want because I'm sure she would explain it better than I would um, okay, so just put this all over your lid. By doing this, this is going to help us um, keep our eyeshadow on for longer. And it will also kind of create a base. So this is always really important to use. Especially whenever you're going to use a color or a pigment, which we are going to use. So it's always good to use one of those. So yeah. Okay, then I'm going to be taking Sephora's. Um, this came with like five. It was like their holiday edition. Um, it's a nice taupe color. I'm going to put this on my lid. I think in my last makeup tutorial I used um, the purple one of this. These things are awesome. I love them. So um, yeah, just put that on your lid and then take your ring finger and just blend this. This is um, pretty much the same color as the pigment. So by doing this it's, all, it's also going to really um, intensify the color intensify uh, make the color of the pigment a little bit darker so all right this is the NYX um, dramatic chromatic eyeshadow pigment I got this last night um, this is in mocha and these are a little bit smaller than the old Mac pigments now they have like the super like toothpick ones I haven't bothered to get any more Mac pigments just because they're I think they're so small now so it's just a waste all right so I'm gonna go into the lid with a elf um, eyeshadow brush and I'm going to place this on top of the Sephora cream eyeshadow. You don't want a lot. You just want to get some to be able to cover the lid. Hey, I, the only thing I don't like about pigments is they always, you know, fall. It's always just a pain. Alright, so you can just keep on applying this until you have the amount that you want on your lid. So I want some more of this. All right. Get some in the crease. Because this color is going to be the main look and then the color I'm going to put in my lower lash line. Okay, so just like that, wipe off your brush. So I think we're going to be done with the pigment because I never um, really plan out the looks. Like I have everything and I plan what I do, but uh, I just kind of wing it, you know, and do it. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go in with my next 10 color eyeshadow palette, the Roma Collection. Mine's in Champagne and Caviar. I use this so much. Oh, I just put my hand in the shadow. Um, I'm going to be using this color right here. And it's just going to, this is a really good dupe for um, Armand Decay's Naked color. And I use that on a, like a day-to-day -day basis. But um, this one's really good also. So I'm just going to take a large, um, fluffy Sony Kashuk brush. And I'm going to lightly place this in my crease just to kind of give your eye somewhat of a depth. Um, and some contour. Which I think is really important because it will make the eye look, you know, much more three-dimensional. So just do that. And by doing this, you're also going to blend out that color, the pigment. Um, blend that out some. Alright, so let's do that. Now we're going to go in with a e.l.f. brush like this, and we're going to go in with the white. And here, this is my favorite um, highlight color. I use this every day in my inner corner. And it's probably, it's yes, it's very white, but, like, it's really, really brightening. And it makes you look super awake. The other day, um, I woke up, like, 10 minutes before I need to leave for school. Because I, I didn't feel like any, oh, sorry, I have my window open. It's really nice. Sorry if you hear, like, outside. Um... I did not feel like getting ready, and I just put this in my crease and underneath my brow, and I was like, I'm done. So, um, yeah, it's really, really nice. So I'm going to pack on a good bit of this. Alright? Okay, so now for my lower lash line, 
I'm just going to do the eyeshadow for that right now. Um, I'm going to first go in with this Rimmel. I haven't ever used this in like, I think I only used this like twice before. I thought, hey, I'm going to use it today. So this is my Rimmel London Special Eyes Precision Eyeliner Pencil, and this is in burgundy. This is kind of a hard color to use. Um, sometimes these colors can make you look kind of bloodshot. And I'm going to place this, not in my waterline, because that's when you really look like you're like on something. And um, I'm going to put this on my lower lash line, roughly, and then we're going to blend it out. So this is really good for green eyes. It makes my eyes look super green. So... Um, yeah, just put this on your lower lash line, mostly in the outer corner, because I don't really like it when you have a, a color that can, you know, cause the effect of like a bloodshot eye. I like to mo mostly focus it on the outer corner, because putting it in the inner, like any more towards here, just really, um, you know, makes you look dead. So, blend it with your ring finger and middle finger, and just get it. This is going to be a base for the eyeshadow. We're going to put over it. So yeah, now that you have it like that, I don't know if you guys can see it. Hopefully, like, the angle of this camera is okay today. Kind of iffy. It's, like, lower than I usually have it. So, um, just like that. And I'm going to be taking Ulta Brand Eyeshadow in Flirty. I love Ulta Brand Eyeshadows. They are really, really good. And they're only, like, $7. So they're awesome. Okay, this is my favorite brush to put on colors on my lower lash line. This is from Sonia Kashuk. I have a little bit of eyeshadow on there. Alright, so I'm going to dip it in here. Tap off the excess. And you're going to want to place this over top of that um, burgundy color. Now you can use blue. Blue and taupe look awesome together. Um, like a turquoise. Um, NYX's teal eyeliner is my favorite blue eyeliner. And I love using it with kind of more of an orangey gold color. Super pretty. Super good for blue eyes. Okay, so I kind of took mine down a little bit far. If you don't want to take it down that far, that's you know perfectly fine. Just use whatever you want. And be very delicate. Use mostly your ring finger because um, this eye area, you know, is just so delicate. All right, so just like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my Essence Liquid Liner. And I love this. I'm going to apply this to my top lashes. Then I'm going to go in with this color right here and an angled brush from Sonia Kashuk and put that over the black so it stays throughout the day. I'm going to curl my lashes with my e.l.f. Eyelash Curl. This thing is amazing. Then we use my CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara on my top lashes and on my bottom lashes. I did this yesterday and it looked so nice. Um, this is my L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara and I'm going to put that on my lower lashes and I will be right back. Okay, so now we're going to head into blush and I'm just going to be using um, e.l.f.'s Tickled Pink Blush. Looks like this, really pretty kind of pink color I'm using a Sony Kashuk blush brush. I use this one every single day. It's the best blush brush. I'm just going to give my face some color. My skin looks really, like, weird today. Like, you know when you have, like, those, like, really gross skin days? I'm having one of those. So, yeah, just put as much as you want on. I like a lot of blush. Um, makes you look very youthful. Just make sure you have it, like, all blended. It's the worst thing you could ever have will be, like, a line. So, um, yeah, just apply that. Now for lips, I'm going to be using Sephora's Matte Lip Color, number R17. All right, it looks pretty dark, right? But what we're going to do is we're going to put this on our lips and we're going to dab it, and it's going to give you the prettiest kind of rosy pink color. So just apply that, and then, um, okay. Looks really dark. I know, I know. All right, so now what you're going to do is you're going to, Sorry if I'm hearing like kids yelling outside. Okay, so now just rub it in with your finger on the edges. Now, if you want to leave it this dark, that's fine. Uh, but what you're going to do is I'm just going to take a towel and then dab it. Oh my god. Um, okay, just to get the color you want. Okay, so this is a finished look. Hopefully, you guys liked it. I think it's really pretty. Um, I'll zoom in for you guys. So that's what the eyes look like. Very simple, but um, still, you know, kind of dramatic, I guess you could say. Um, some nice kind of berryish lips, pink cheeks. Yeah, I think it's pretty nice. Pretty nice for, um, I would wear this for daytime. You don't necessarily have to. But yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.